Declan is very solid. He's younger, and he can cover so much space. And he, he can play both the six and the eight. He's very versatile. He gives us a lot of options. And I think Rice may give us from a, a defensive standpoint because he can play the right back. Declan could probably do that too, though. I think, I think Declan right now, he's, he's a better player for me. Transit TV, we are out here in the public house in the Heights, Houston, Texas. We just finished watching us now play against Everton at the Goodison Park. I started ran away with this one, 1-0. One I'm here with my man, Kevin, to look at the game and talk about how the game pan out. Kevin, let me ask you, when the lineup came out this afternoon, I mean, afternoon here in, in Houston, of course, yeah. uh, what was your thinking about the changes that, that I made? He kept Jesus on the bench, mm -hmm. brought in uh, Fabio Vieira for Kai Havertz, mm -hmm. and what, what, was your, what, what, you know, what was your feeling about the changes? Well, you know, like everybody else, I was a little surprised uh, seeing Raya start over Ramsdale, seeing Vieira start, especially with how physical Everton was going to be. Mm -hmm. uh, I figured, like everyone else figured, that Havertz would start, you know, with his, his uh, superior physicality. You know, he's 6'3", mm -hmm. he's a bigger guy, Vieira's a little smaller. Mm -hmm. It seemed to work out. You know, Vieira did have that option where he, he had the assist, but... Uh, and Kenny was a little offside, so that, that goal got disallowed. But, yeah, I was surprised by the by the lineup, definitely. Yeah, last season, Arsenal lost 1-0 at Everton. And like you mentioned, it was a little bit of a physical battle, and Arsenal lost down in that one. Today, I thought I went for Vieira, and Arsenal played a little bit away from the physical battles. How did you see this one, Pat? Do you think that, that tactic worked? I think they tried it again, but I think we were a little bit better prepared for it this year. It also helps our team is bigger, a little more physically robust. And we just moved the ball around them, and they, they just couldn't get a foot on it. They couldn't quite uh, hit us like they did last year. Because we had, what, 80% possession. We had all of the ball. Uh, and as long as we were avoiding, you know, and, and able to get out of their traps, they couldn't do what they did to us last year. That smash and grab just wouldn't work. Okay, Rans the being in bench, do you think he's lost his place or you think Ateta is, for me personally, I feel probably he's resting him for the Champions League. What do you think about that, those, that change? I think he'll definitely get the Champions League match. Um, I don't know if he's lost his place. I think it is going to be a competition between him and Raya the rest of the season, though. So I wouldn't be surprised to see Raya start more Premier League matches. But it's going to be interesting to see who comes out on top. And a lot of people, good. Okay, a lot of people have been talking about Kai Havas. Today, Fabio Vera came in for him. So do you think performance-wise uh, by Fabio today, do you think uh, he did better than Kai Havertz? I personally do. There are a lot of people who rate Kai Havertz off the ball work and the way he um, runs back, tracks back, does some work on um, long balls to hold up play. I don't know if that's actually what he's supposed to be doing. Obviously, I'm not Arteta, but I think Vieira did enough to keep his spot. I think Vieira had a good game. He, I think he rushed some shots and ended up, you know, skying some balls that he shouldn't have. But overall, I think Vieira's play was superior, and I think Vieira should keep his spot. Now, talk to me about Declan Rice. <laughs> Everybody loves Declan Rice. Declan Rice is amazing. He is, he's, he's a Rolls Royce in the middle of the midfield. He, he's everywhere. He drops back. He goes forward. He can take shots. He has the, the little telescopic legs where he can make the tackle when he's behind the player. He's, he's an amazing player. I did, I did not know how good Declan Rice was because I didn't watch him week in and week out. But he is amazing, and I'm very happy with that purchase. So if he Thomas Party and if he Declan Rice right now, who do you play? I play Declan. I played Declan over. Why? Tell me why. Listen, I love Thomas. But Thomas is very, um, he's injury prone. Yeah, he's very injury prone. The hamstring will break. Something always breaks. Declan is very solid. He's younger. And he can cover so much space. And he, he can play both the six and the eight. He's very versatile. He gives us a lot of options. And I think Rice may give us from a, a defensive standpoint because he can play the right back. Declan could probably do that too, though. I think, I think Declan right now, he's, he's a better player for me. Okay, uh, uh, the first three games of the season, a lot of people thought that Arsenal didn't have the rhythm. Against United, I think that rhythm came back. Today, again, it looks like we're playing how we want to play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the game ended 1-0, but you could see that Arsenal was perfectly in control of the game all through the game. Do you think Arsenal going to kick on from here now into the season? I'm hoping so. We have Spurs next week, so we kind of have to kick on. We can't lose that North London derby. Uh, but uh, I think we will definitely uh, keep improving on the plate. The players are getting to know each other a little bit better, and those automatisms are starting to come in. Okay, so from here, what do you expect us now to do, you know, to do this season? Are we going to win the league, Champions League? What's your expectation? <laughs> I mean, I'm hoping we win the league. Uh, Champions League might be a bridge too far for us right now, but I'm hoping we win the league this year. It's, it's going to tell if we beat City at home, 
I think we might win the league. Yeah, I tell you what, you're, you're about the first fan I'm going to interview who is talking about winning the league. A lot of people just say, well, if you come together against City, they'll be okay with it. And I've been saying, Arsenal fans moving forward from now should demand that this team goes all the way and win the league this season. Okay. And I'm glad I found somebody who is thinking in that direction now. Yeah. And I think we should go from there. Thank you, Kevin, for coming on the show. And good to see you. I will see you again on Wednesday Definitely. against PFV. Thank Sounds you. Good.